Like I said, I'm still a rookie and I still make rookie mistakes. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hi guys. Welcome back to another video on my channel. I am so excited to have you guys here. Um, for those of you guys who have been following along, I think this is video like 14 on my channel, I believe. I will insert it right here. Um, anyways, so I am going to be making my famous dirty chai. So a little backstory on this. I started drinking dirty chais at my old company. We had a Starbucks inside and um, one of the baristas asked me if I liked because she I would always order the chai tea latte and she would be like if you like the chai tea latte you can make it dirty if you need a little bit of caffeine because um, that in my old company it was like a very high paced environment and you were always like go 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 so like some days you just like need that coffee to like wake you up and keep you going and so um i think one day i asked her like i was like i need something stronger like what do you recommend stronger but not too strong and then she's like oh you, you always get the chai latte i'm like why don't you get a dirty chai i'm like oh what's a dirty chai and she told me it's basically like my chai tea latte with like a shot or two of espresso which like i couldn't get however i want i usually would put one if i was really tired but i put two um, but yeah, basically I have learned and mastered how to make that on my own. Granted, I'm not using like the espresso shots that they use. I'm using just like instant coffee. Um, but it's the same thing I feel. So, um, that's what I'm going to be doing. It's really easy. It's really delicious. So if you like chai, you should really give the dirty chai a try. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that you're going to need. So for my milk substances that I'm using, or my milk replacements, I'm using this rice milk just because I feel like it gives it a really good flavor with the chai. Um, and then I use some oat milk because it helps make it a little bit creamy because this rice milk is kind of like watery. I just kind of like it for the taste and it um, combines really well with the chai. So you're going to need rice milk and oat milk. Both of these I got at Trader Joe's. And then another thing that I got at Trader Joe's was this chai. Um, it's a chai tea latte mix. So they also have this in like a liquid form and I've tried it and I don't like it. It does not taste the same. So I just prefer getting the powder. Um, and yeah, it has a little scooper inside. So it says to put the whole scoop, but this is a big scoop. So I usually only put like half um, because I also don't like my things too sweet or overpowering. So I put about half, but if you want to follow the directions, you can put um, the full thing if you like sweets. And then coffee, I usually use the Folgers coffee, but I am kind of a rookie at drinking coffee, guys. I just started drinking coffee. I just started avidly drinking coffee. Not avidly, but like more frequently drinking coffee this year in 2020. So I'm still a rookie and I still make rookie mistakes. So I went to the store because we finished our coffee and I bought this one and coffee drinkers already noticed the mistake that I made. So this is ground coffee and yeah, you need to like, you need to ground it or make it. I don't know how to do it, but I was supposed to get instant coffee and I got ground coffee because like I said, I'm still a rookie and I still make rookie mistakes. So um, the other one that we have on hand is this one. It's Cafe de Olla, it's Cafe Canela. So it has a cinnamony flavor, which um, it's okay. I like it. I think they actually complement each other pretty well. But typically, I would use the Folgers Instant Coffee. But since I made a mistake, um, I'm going to just substitute for this one. And it's going to be just as good. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. And this is my coffee cup that I use. So first things first, in order to mix the instant coffee, you're going to need some hot water, which I already warmed up, so I'm just going to go. Um, okay, so now that I showed you guys the ingredients that you're going to need, now we can start making the coffee. So what you're going to get is insane. So just put like a spoonful. Um, this spoon, I usually just put like, it depends on how big this one is, right? So this one's kind of big, so I'm putting like this much. Maybe I should knock some off. Like that much. Can you guys see? Is that a lot? I don't know. I think it's fine. Okay, so you're gonna wanna put your instant coffee, instant coffee of your choice. I don't think it's really gonna make a difference. Um, and then you're gonna put the scoop of the chai. So like I said, I the ingredients say to put like the full scoop, but it's too much for me. It's too it's too much for me to handle. So I'm putting like half. Okay, so you're gonna put that in your cup. So these are your powders. So you're gonna wanna put water in here, hot water. And the only reason for the hot water is just so that you're able to mix this, okay? Because if you put the cold stuff, it's gonna get chunky and you're not gonna be able to mix it and you're gonna regret it, okay? So I already warmed up my hot water. So I'm just going to 
poured in there. I am putting very little, just enough for me to be able to mix it. And that is it, okay? It's getting kind of messy on set, so let me clean. Now that it is nicely melted in there, the chai mix and the coffee, I'm going to put some ice cubes in there. So, one, two, three. That's all the ice cubes I have, so that's what I'm gonna use. Now after you put some ice cubes in there, you're gonna put your rice milk. So rice milk, I'm just gonna put like less than a fourth cup. Okay. And then same with the milk, like about a fourth cup or less. Maybe less, okay? So here you go, there is your coffee. I'm gonna put on my lid. I'm gonna give it a taste test. I'm just gonna mix, 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 mix. Okay, moment of truth, guys. Let's try it. It's also daylight savings, and so it gets dark. It gets dark so fast now. It's crazy. This taste. Just brought back memories. This tastes so similar to the one that I would get at Starbucks at my old company. Oh my god. So good. So refreshing. If you like chai tea latte and sometimes you just feel like you need a little extra kick, um, try throwing in some of your favorite instant pots in here and you have yourself a dirty chai and it is so good and I 10 out of 10 recommend. So um, I think that's it for this video. The simple is super recipe, like I said. The recipe is the simple is super recipe. What did I just say? I have no idea. This sim the simple is super recipe. Is that what I said? This recipe is super simple. So yeah, guys, make sure you try it. Um, the oat milk is definitely like necessary. Other, if you just use the rice milk, it's gonna be a little bit watery. So if you're okay with that, then maybe. But I know most people like their coffee to be a little bit creamy. So this is what really gives it that extra push that you're really gonna need to have it feel and taste like a coffee. So yeah, it's so good, so delicious. And um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time.